All right, world. We got, we got all kinds of things going on. Uh, torn down. <clears throat> I do want to kind of go through and try to... She's leaky. So I want to try to fix that a little bit. Uh, we got some things going on over here. <clears throat> so I did. I opened this up quite a bit. Uh, I haven't done anything with my timing on my intake. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of dancing around the thought of um, putting some epoxy. I want to build an epoxy ramp <clears throat> rather than... take a burr to my roof of my intake. Um, I'm working off the theory of velocity. So I figure if I can get a little ramp right in the middle We'll increase our intake velocity slightly. Um, and that theory is based off of stuffing this case. Um, I'm going to do that to both sides. And then try to. Trying to keep the case volume down. Um, I want <clears throat> case compression. Uh, I would like fifth, like this comes into play with transfer height and your exhaust roof height. Um, I think with a longer blowdown. You can achieve higher case compression, which in turn leads to higher port transfer port velocity. Um, we're playing around, so that's uh, what's on my agenda for an hour or two here. Um, I got the crank out of the saw. <clears throat> And discovered that the seals are well I think one of them is still good but I'm not even gonna risk putting this back in the saw you're probably not gonna be able to catch this on the camera but there is you're not gonna be able to oh maybe a little in the light there there's dry rot or something. Um, it's cracked. Pretty much all the way through. Um, this is it's a 30 year old saw. It's a 30 year old saw, so. The clutch side doesn't look bad. Or no, excuse me. The flywheel side doesn't look bad, but that clutch side's pretty whooped out. I'm having a slightly difficult time making the numbers out on this. Um, I had a thought to see if I can find <clears throat> some better bearings. It's all the way apart. I mean, it might as well. So maybe this will be our first like total teardown build and mod. Um, it's 
definitely my top two favorite saws, so why not <clears throat> before I do some whole image. Oh yeah, so bearings feel good. But maybe we get some ceramic bearings and never worry about them again. Um, clutch looks all right. It's a little glazed on the wheel. <clears throat> That's a fuck. Real heavy bearing. It's a real heavy bearing. Um, yeah, so I'm, like, I'm probably going to get all this cleaned up and I'm not going to do anything over here. I just, you know, I'm just scraping some of the gunk out of here. Just give me a little once over. I'll go over it with a fine scotch bright and carb clean. Polish everything up, make sure we got a good adhering surface. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I want to um, definitely do some stuff right here. So, we'll, uh, we'll have to make sure that our piston is able to reach the bottom of that. I mean, we do have a windowed piston with some wide ears on it, so if anything, we'll uh, go a little further on our corners here. See how much air we can stuff down into that case. <clears throat> so, that is the plan. Guys, I know there's science behind like all of this. And if I took the time to read a book, I'd probably understand why it all does what it does. Um, well, I like to learn the hard way, so that's what I'm doing. I'm learning it the hard way. JB Weld and grinding, and I'm, I'm glad I took the saw apart. Cause this seal is not is not good. It's a bad seal. Well, you can probably see me catch my finger on the dry rot. There are cracks in the seal. And we plan on turning this into an air pump, so <clears throat> I think new seals are in order. So I'm having such a hard time getting that number. C P W or C R W C P W one fifteen twenty three four. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll get both of them. But I am going to keep this one because I don't know if this big washer thing on here is a specific for that saw. So it might be a little tougher to find than I hoped. But this one looks like a standard seal, so yeah, they they slid right off <clears throat> like no resistance like there's almost play so uh, gotta go but yeah um eventually get some more seals ordered but <clears throat> yes i am gonna try and stuff this case Mm 
not dramatically. Um, just in the places where I think I can get away with it. So. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. I'm going to be in and out of the shop all day, so I'll just save this and pop in later. All right, here's uh, what I ended up with after a while. Um, I had taped this and filled it, and it was nice and level. Um, and I just came to check on it a few hours later, and it was like putty. So I just molded it. Molded it down where I wanted it. Taking up a little bit of that case volume uh, to keep our compression, our crankcase compression, high. And my goal is to get rid of that lip. This flows up in very nicely. It's going to be difficult to see, but it flows very nicely. I'm liking it. So now I will tape off this other side and do it again. Hopefully I catch it in time where it is uh, like a nice ball of Play-Doh and I can just do the same thing and shape it in. That'd be ideal. So basically, that's all I did. I did want to keep it a little open over here. Doesn't look like it's going to cooperate. Oh well. Hopefully this goes smooth. Oh my gosh, sorry. I didn't get any of that for you. Uh, yeah, so I had the thought while I was waiting for this stuff to set up a little bit. Um, the metal putty stick, metal stick, JB weld, whatever it is. Um, oh my god, I just put my hand right in it. That's just like roll around in a ball and stuff it in your cases. Um, that sounds like the way to go.
Yeah, and that's that. <clears throat> so, um, doing that just because I opened these up so much, I feel as though I lost some. Um, I gained air volume. <clears throat> so, I'm trying with this to recompensate for what I hog out of here <clears throat> to keep the same. Um, compression in my crankcase. I'm sorry. I got this stuff all over me. I believe that velocity counts for a lot of things. So, uh, yeah, real quick over here. I got... <clears throat> Bottom end all torn down and cleaned up. I just scuffed these surfaces up with Scotch Brite so that we get good adhesion. Uh, the cranks out. I'm I'm gonna wash these bearings. That one doesn't like to spin as much as this one. I think I got some gasket maker up in there, so. If we can't get this one to spin as free as this one, it's out with the old, in with the new. Uh, new seals. I got the other one upstairs. <clears throat> um, yeah, I also, I didn't realize this. There's a, a groove around this air filter for an O-ring. And it would appear that that is actually what holds that in there. I also put a small O-ring around the rim of this. Just a double seal. And I popped some of that uni filter back in. Um, I laid it in there much more delicately this time. It's not stuffed in there. And I can still breathe just fine through it, so. Um, yeah, I do. I got to check a couple of these um, holes that go into the tank see if I'm punched all the way through I do know that uh, not so much on the fuel tank as my oil tank I believe this pull the thread in the back and oil will leak out this thing I'm assuming is my oil breather my oil tank breather it's just a little cut Afraid there was probably something on the other end of it, but I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> um, yeah, like I said, got this all cleaned up. <clears throat> oh, I got the clutch all cleaned up. Pretty much got everything as clean as I could get. I got some oil soaking on this spring. It could Looked like I had some rust on it. I'll end up cleaning that with brake cleaner and see if I can't scuff some of this glazing. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I can't get over this clutch bearing. That thing is beef. That thing is thick. Well, yeah, so pretty much I guess we just wait for the seals on this. Finish our. Uh, the other thing I did want to do, um, I want to get the metal stick. JB weld. I want to see if I can get away with it. Just putting a tiny bit in this groove. You know, I'm looking at the gears on the crank. And yeah, it's close, but there's room. Especially if I stick a grinder in there a little bit and just mush that up. 
so I get some good adhesion. Other than that, there's really nowhere else to pack this case. Um, I might do something with the intake to try and raise the compression there. Um, it's a pretty standard, I mean, it's a beautiful cylinder. It's exhaust. Intake. I wish I had a home, guys. 45 millimeter piston. I wish I had a ball home. So, yeah, I think that's going to be the video for today. I got, got on there for a bit, so. Uh, yeah. That'll be that. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow, and I'm... This is all set up and hardened up. There's quite a, quite a bit of area we took up, and I'm debating on what I can do over here. See how I kind of ran it down the sides. I can clean it all up with the sanding drum. I don't know. We'll see where our crank. Or, uh, yeah, our crank lands. So, all right, I'm out.